Good morning. Good morning and uh, I'd like to welcome you to the 2012 edition of Launch Silicon Valley. Did I hear a bit of applause there? Really? No? No. <laughs> Yay! There we go. A bit of applause for Launch Silicon Valley. Look at that. The applause has triggered off some fireworks. That's wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. I know there's more people coming in, and I know there's problems on 101, but it's a terrific to see you here. Uh, for those of you who drove here, I don't know if you heard it. I did. Um, there was a piece about us on KGO. They called up yesterday and said, with all the doom and gloom that's happening in, uh, around the US and around the world, we're one of the few spots of good news in the valley because we're talking about upbeat things and we have 30 companies who will be launching their products in the hope of going global and creating uh, new, new businesses, potentially new industries and certainly lots of new jobs. So it's great to be here. I'll just run you through briefly through what we're going to go through. We have a terrific program for you. Um, but we do have a lot of moving parts. I'd just like to highlight some people who've been very helpful in making that happen. First of all, I'd like to thank the hundreds of startups that submit every year to launch Silicon Valley. If you could get everybody in, we would do that. We're 30, we're maxed out, and, and, we, and we really can't go any further. But thank you all for applying to launch Silicon Valley. Uh, the enthusiasm and the quality keeps going up every year. We'd like to, I'd like to thank the, re, re, the reviewers, the angels, the VCs um, who help me review all the submissions that we get and do it in very short order uh, to help find down the 30 companies we invite to pitch on that. And that included people from Sandhill Angels, Band of Angels, <coughs> excuse me, uh, individual angels who I know, NEA, Axel Partners, Hummer Wimblad. So you had some real quality people looking at the submissions that we had. The 30 companies that have uh, accepted the invitation to come here, and this is a scary thing, they're going to pitch in front of, potentially in this room, 300 people, in the Saturn room, 170 to 200 people, and if you've never done it be, be, before, it can be really intimidating. So I'd like you to put your hands together for the 30 companies that are going to be pitching, because it's a real big thing for them to do. The panelists and moderators that are going to make this a very special e e event, and we'll talk more about some of them just going through this very quickly. Uh, the speakers that we have, and we have some terrific speakers, I will highlight those two who've taken time out of their day to come and help us with this. The Microsoft staff, when you see the Microsoft staff, please say thank you. Please smile at them. They do an outstanding job every year on this. You have no idea how they make this seem to run so smoothly. Trust me, they do an outstanding job, so please smart them, please thank them. Um, and SV Forum staff and volunteers, we have a ton of volunteers helping us with, with this. We can't do it without the volunteers. And again, they do an outstanding job. Um, one of the slides I thought of having up here, for those of you who've seen the TV program or the, the advert, it's a bunch of cowboys herding some cats through a canyon. You know, that's kind of like how it is, and uh, they do a terrific job. And finally, our sponsors, who you can see here, uh, particularly point out Microsoft for providing the facility for us, uh, Cooley for uh, providing uh, terrific sponsorship since we first started, and for the great uh, pre-event party last night, uh, Microsoft, sorry, and Garage Technology Ventures, Bill Reichert and uh, Guy Kawasaki, who actually came up with the original I I idea for it. When seven years ago they said, you know, there's no opportunity for companies in Silicon Valley to do a product launch. Why don't you do it? And that's how it came, it came about. And you'll hear something from Bill later. In fact, you have no, no, no option but to hear something from Bill later. You know, it's, the difficulty is to try and stop him. Um, so finally, <coughs> we'll have the changing face of venture capital shortly with a great set of panelists, followed by Steve Blank talking about what he's learned and put into his new book. Uh, three of the companies who previously presented at Launch Silicon Valley to give you an update on what's been happening with, with them. Uh, what will be a really interesting talk from Paul Sappho, who is a futurist on what he perceives as the entrepreneurial landscape going forward. Ray Rothrock, incoming chair of the NV National Venture Capital Association and partner at Venrock, talking about the Jobs Act and the IPO on ramp and what's happening there. Uh, he'll be interviewed by Chris O'Brien of the San Jose Mercury News. 
Um, we also have then, of course, in the afternoon, the 30 presenting companies. One session in here, one session in Saturn, running in parallel to enable us to get through the 30 companies in a reasonable time. And finally, the closing keynote will be Vinod Kosla on what he sees happening around the world, not only in clean tech, but in all the other areas he has interest in. Uh, and then to wrap up, we'll, we will announce the six companies most likely to succeed. And they are selected based upon voting by the panelists on the stage at the time and also by you, the audience. So you participate in this too. Um, so this is a, 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 a high-touch, high-participation e e event, and I hope you get a lot from it.